Yeah, I'm with Graham McDonald and Graham has just found the homestead. We'd actually walked down the trail a little bit too far. So the first cabin is just directly behind him. It's really hard to see through the bush, but it's up there. We're gonna go up there in a second. Well, this clearly would have been a substantial cabin that we're looking at here. It's pretty much on the floor, or on the forest floor, I should say. And it looks like it was quite large. Might even been kind of an L-shaped thing, but there's some really interesting stuff here. Anyhow, Graham is. Uh, could you display that a little bit better, Graham? That's a big buck saw, or it might be a crosscut saw. I'm not exactly sure, but there's quite a few really cool saws, and there's Maddox here. That looks like it might have been top of the stove at one time. All kinds of interesting stuff on the forest floor. Take a look at this stove that was probably obviously in this building here. Or it's what left of the stove. It's all collapsed. But it looks like most of the pieces are here. <laughs> it's uh, like I've always said whenever I've gone to these sites is you, 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 that's all you know you'll find the wash buckets you'll find a bucket that's they're usually because they're uh, galvanized the wash tubs and then you find the stoves because they seem to last forever but this one's interesting because you can you'll be able to see exactly who made it and where it says it up a little bit. It says WJ Corp Sun uh, 800 and Fort Williams, Ontario. So there it is. Quite an interesting display of well, some really some neat old shoes. <laughs> That's interesting to find those. Like. It's another thing that you'll find as well that if the leather will seem to last. Find old shoes in the bush. Interesting door looking thing over there standing up. We're going to go over there in a second and investigate, but to start with, we're going to first of all go to this cabin right here. This is an actual log cabin. I've seen some pictures of it a few years ago before the roof was caved in. Tree, <laughs> that tree right there hit the roof, caved it in. And this cabin has really been going downhill rapidly ever since. Graham's found some really cool stuff over here by the cabin, so we'll go take a look. What's that thing? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I remember seeing that in his movie. So it definitely looks like it's the strainer part looks like it's disintegrating, but the rest of it looks pretty solid. Is there any other stuff there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, another old shoe. Yeah, it's interesting that, that the, um, the old shoes seem to last forever too. The leather, whatever they used to preserve the leather. You'll find that stuff in the woods as well, which is another good indication that you're near a, some kind of a, of a home site or a, or a town site, or at least their garbage dump. I was talking to an older gentleman that used to live in this, uh, well, this was kind of like his big backyard back here. And he remembers coming down here as a kid and these buildings were all standing. And he, he said that they were abandoned, but there was still like canning stuff in the cupboards and you could have almost kind of moved in and lived in it. But one interesting thing that he had mentioned is that we're just off to the left here is Homesite Creek. He said that if you go down to Homesite Creek, that there's a waterfall there and there was actually a mining shaft that was put there. So we're thinking, I was thinking that maybe that's what we'll do now is head down to the creek and just take a look around and see if we can find the shaft. And we do have flashlights and we have night shot on the uh, camera that we can use as well. So you never know with any luck we might find something like that. So let's go.
hee-haw, hee-haw.